now there is this information. It's called best efficiency. Best efficiency is a zone on the curve where most of the pump's energy is invested into or channeled towards developing head and flow with very little energy wasted in the forms of vibration, distortion, heat, and noise. On most pumps, about 80% about of all pumps, the best efficiency is going to be approximately 85% of the shutoff head. So if this is my shutoff head, we'll say we'll put this into 100 units, maybe it's 100 feet, but, but maybe it's, it's whatever it is. We'll just call it 100 units. At about 85 units, that pump will be at its approximate best efficiency zone. So you take a pump curve and you can find the best efficiency zone. We've been looking at it on some of the pump curves. Then as the operator of the pump or as the owner of the pump, you should avoid operating the pump in these zones because this is wasted energy. If you took your car apart and we separate every part on your car that is round and rotates, then we could dynamically, perfectly balance everything that is round and rotates on your car. And, and then put your car back together. Now your car would be, the engine and the drivetrain of your car would be perfectly dynamically balanced. Should be no vibrations. If you accelerated your car to 50 miles per hour in first gear, then here would be a question. Would your car vibrate? But wait a minute, <laughs> didn't we just dynamically balance everything in the car that is round and rotates? So why is the car vibrating? You're not supposed to drive your car in first gear at 50 miles an hour. Now, and if we did the same thing to that same balanced car, you put your car in fourth gear and you decelerate or go slower down to eight or 10 miles per hour in fourth gear, then the whole car is going to be jerking. And then we would say, wait a minute. Didn't we just dynamically balance everything on your car that is round and rotates? Then why is your car vibrating? So some vibrations that we chase with a vibration meter are actually operation-induced vibrations.